everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Angela from Angela Monica, and today I want to show you my powder room. I moved into a new house three years ago, and I've been decorating very slowly. I have two children in college, and decorating on a budget is really important to me. Let's go to the powder room. The first thing I wanted to show you were the shelves that my husband uh, put on the walls for me. The powder room itself is really small, but the ceilings are very tall. So I'm going to have some challenges filming the second shelf for you all and getting that into the whole lens of the camera. Let's look at the bottom shelf first. On the bottom shelf, I have a candle and I have a teal ceramic bird. I have teal in my, in other parts of my house, I have teal in my living room. So I have a teal ceramic bird, and then I also have a bar of soap that carries the yellow, and it also has a bird on it. So I have the bird in nature theme going on in the bathroom. It smells really good. So between the candle and the soap, the bathroom smells really nice. But I love the way that looks. It looks bright and cheerful in this small space. If we look at the second shelf, I have another bar of soap. And that is another bar of soap with a gray birds or silver birds on it. And I've got a verse from the Bible. I got that from Kirkland's. And I have a vase with flowers in it. And the vase I got on sale, it was on clearance at Target for $3.99. And I already had sand at home, so I put sand in the vase. I got the flowers from Michaels and I made an L-shaped arrangement because that ceiling is so tall that I wanted the flowers to take up some of that space. As you can see, these walls are, are tan and I'm considering painting them a light gray, but I also want to do the floor in a gray tile. So I want to do the floor first and make sure that the bathroom doesn't look too dark before I paint the bathroom. On the back of the toilet, I have a yellow towel, a gray hand towel, and a beautiful soap dish that has gold flecks in it and a bar of soap. That soap dish is really, really pretty. I don't know if you can tell on camera how, how pretty it is, but it adds a nice touch to the bathroom. On the wall, I have two coordinating pictures with yellow flowers and gray silver butterflies. The pictures have a really nice color to them. The yellow and the silver and the gray and the black with the cream background adds a really nice touch to the bathroom. I have a beautiful gray, yellow, and white accent rug on the floor. The flooring is tan, and I want to switch that out for gray tile. I actually had a decorator that recommended that I paint the walls gray and also put the gray flooring in. If you get a chance, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about that. I'm not so sure I want to paint the walls gray because I'm afraid to make the bathroom look too dark. It's such a small space and I'm afraid to make it look too dark and to make it look even smaller. So what I want to do is replace the floor and then decide if, if, if I want to paint or not. So that's the bathroom. If you get a chance, leave me a comment and let me know what you think about changing the floor and painting the walls to gray. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you liked what I did with my powder room and I'll see you next time.